Hi friend, this is Sanjay Kumar, creator of Selector Surf. In this uh, tutorial, I will show you like all the things very quickly. If you want the detailed tutorial, please check out. Uh, I have given the link of the detailed tutorial in the description. So let's quickly see what is Selector Surf, how to install it, how to use it, what are the best features of it. So what is Selector Surf? Selector Surf is basically a browser extension which helps you to write and generate selectors, XPath and all possible selectors for any kinds of all kinds of element it supports everything which is which were never possible before like iframe nested iframe shadow dom nested shadow dom dynamic invisible elements so lots of things so it supports everything and it's it is the only solution which gives you the right count of selectors and supports all these impossible things now see how to install it it's very easy for whichever browser you want it is available for almost every browser except ie browser so yes uh, for the very obvious reason and uh, you see that for whichever browser you want to install you can install it it's available for all browsers like safari as well like this is the very first and only extension which is available for safari like xpath extension and you see that uh, for chrome just click on here and uh, as i have already installed it so let me just remove it and show you how to install it once uh, after installing it you, you see that add to chrome will, button will come here click on add to chrome and once it is installed you can uh, see that extension logo will not appear over here so click on this you see that uh, here uh, selector sub icon will not by default show you here so you click on this it comes on toolbar here you can read the privacy policy this is absolutely secure plugin once you install it make sure that you have restarted your browser or whatever tabs are already open you will have to just refresh refresh them so that it works properly because it requires your browser to be uh, like the dom should be refreshed okay so best is like you refresh your uh, you restart your browser now how to use it it's very simple just right click click on inspect anywhere on your page and on the right side you will see that <coughs> Uh, here on the DOM, you see that left side elements tab is there. You will not find the uh, selectors up here, like as a main tab. So in that case, don't worry. It is always as a so as sidebar here. Click on this double arrow, and the last tab will be the selectors up. You can choose here, selectors up, and as soon as you open, this opens like this. So suppose now uh, you have we have to write an X path for this element here for certificate. So what you have to do? Like in place of verifying in DevTools, you just start typing here. It will automatically auto suggest you, and it makes like uh, life easy and saves time. Like in a smart editor, as soon as you type something, it will show you the auto suggest. You can select that and build your end, or your own XPath. If you like uh, make any mistake in your XPath, it will support. It will show you what's wrong in your XPath. It uh, helps you with like what is missing, what is not missing, what should be there, what should not be there. So it helps you with the error message. If you want to write CSS selector, you can also build your CSS selector here. You see that it gives you the CSS selectors option if anything is there. <coughs> so all those things are possible here. And then, uh, so this is how you can build your own XPath. You can also, you see that uh, when you will be typing over here, if you want to build your XPath with access and all, you just start typing like preceding siblings, following siblings, and it will start giving you the suggestion like if there will be any preceding siblings and all, it will give you those suggestions so that uh, you can also build your XPath with access. And when you will be verifying any XPath, let's say you have some XPath and you want to convert that into CSS selector, so you just uh, enter that XPath and you see that it suggests the CSS selectors as well for your XPath, so you can convert your XPath into CSS selector. Likewise, there are like so many uh, features are there. Then uh, if your any of your element will be inside iframe or nested iframe, it will uh, suggest XPath for all the iframes. You have to just uh, inspect the element. So if I go back here, so this was the editor feature. Like if you don't want to see this auto generated, you can turn it off. If you want to see everything, then you can turn it on. And here it will uh, like whichever element you will inspect, you will see all possible selectors it will show here. So you can see that it also gives you the JS path relative CSS selector so that you can directly copy and use it in your selector uh, in your uh, script. And here it has the attribute filters as well. Like you want to generate X path with your own choice, then you can uh, uncheck this like it is generating now with uh, without class. This box is to enter the attribute name with which you want to generate the X path. Let's say we, you want the X path with item prop you can enter the item prop here and press enter it will generate with your uh, attribute so this has and if you want to hide this you can hide this you don't uh, need to 
and uh, like if you want to generate x bar selectors with uh, like uh, you have written an x bar and that you want to generate with uh, in uh, case you want to make it case insensitive there's a button you just click on this it will make your x bar is a case insensitive and css selectors as well so that is also there if you want to get the x path with the command you, there is a add command feature you can directly enter just enter the driver dot find element command here and uh, wherever uh, is x path in your command you have written that replace that with x path value keyword and press enter detail you can find it here yeah, and in the description as well so this way you can uh, add the command and directly you can use this in co complete command in your script you can turn it off as well then if you want to generate, uh, let's say you want to generate the multiple X path for uh, all these header X, uh, elements you want. And uh, so you can generate the X path for multiple elements as well. X path, not just X path, basically it has the amazing feature that you can generate all possible selectors here for that uh, the inspector. So now just keep inspecting these elements over here and you see in the uh, selectors hub, you get all the uh, possible X path and all the possible selectors for the inspected element you can turn it uh, turn on the command that command will append if you uh, uh, means directly on the command copy all button is there delete all you can export all these selectors in an excel sheet by clicking on this so you see that xls is also generated so this is how you can generate the multiple selectors as well from the selector sub and export them now if you want to uh, like how does it supports for iframe and nested iframe so you need not to do anything you just open selectors up if the inspected element will be inside iframe nested iframe so it will uh, it will show you everything like it is showing you that this element is inside two nested iframe iframe one x path is this iframe two x path is and web element x path is this so it gives you all those information as well here if any element will be inside a uh, nested shadow dom or shadow dom it will give you the complete script you just have to like use that in directly you can use it in your script it gives you the basically uh, shadow dom host uh, selectors as well you see it is telling you that this element is inside four nested shadow dom and it gives you the complete information over here so that you can directly use it in your script so this way it is uh, it helps you a lot if any element is like dynamic element you it has the debugger button as well so uh, like let's say any element is there which you are not able to inspect by right click or anything then you have the debugger button to uh, inspect those elements this also helps you a lot here you go to select us up that debugger button is here click on this and after clicking on that you just uh, make your element appear over here you get a five seconds of buffer now you inspect this element over here you uh, selectors will generate and you would be able to inspect the element likewise if any uh, element is there which like these drop down which you are not able to inspect uh, which you doesn't found in the uh, dom immediately then you have the right click menu option as well without opening selectors up you can also copy the x path and selectors from here you see that uh, here also you have the customize options for uh, your context menu you can get all the options in the right click as well here so this way you it has a lot of features and i hope uh, you're able to understand and make sure that you don't uh, try it on the blank go uh, blank tab this is a blank tab here you should open you should open the google.com so make sure this is a google.com and then you should be able to use it and there are like lots of feature amazing innovations are there so uh, please watch the detailed tutorial if you want otherwise uh, yeah this is good and this is really amazing if you want to um, there are like lots of features they used to uh, save these settings like if you just want as an editor mode and lots of features are there i hope uh, this quick tutorial will help you a lot and with that thank you so much and i would really request you that please add the review for selectors up here and uh, here in the chrome store or whichever browser you are using please add your review and uh, share selectors up with others and please be a patron this will really help a lot uh, me to work on this because I'm working full time on this. And uh, with that, thank you. Thank you so much. Share this with everyone. Select us up. And it's really uh, amazing. And take the certificate from here. And this is really good. Thank you. Thank you so much.